to supplement these videos, we have a packet um, with all of this information for you guys to read along with and to reference. There's also more information in the packet than we will even be able to go over in these videos or in person. So we encourage you to read that and to uh, really just get a good sense for all of the information that's here. Um, the better that you understand all this information, the better prepared you're going to be at camp. Um, and, and we can promise um, just how important that is going to be. So I encourage you to read along um, and also to study uh, all of this information as we prepare for camp. To help care for our campers, Agape uses a model called TBRI, which stands for Trust-Based Relational Intervention. Uh, it's a wonderful uh, system and practice that really understands trauma, its history, how it impacts um, children and adults, and then most importantly, how we can understand that to be able to serve our kids, how to engage with them, how to connect with them, and, and ultimately how to help heal uh, these histories of trauma. We know that we can't heal trauma in four days. But what we do know is that we can provide healthy models for relationships and connections that will help move the train. And that is a significant thing for our campers is to experience these healthy relationships and to know what it's like to be able to receive them and seek them after camp. So that's what we're here to do. So within the TBRI model, there's three pillars that we're always focused on and that we want uh, to be mindful of. So the first one is felt safety. At all times, we want to help our campers feel safe. The important thing to note about felt safety is that we do not get to decide when somebody else feels safe. Only they get to decide for themselves. And for many of our campers who are coming from histories of trauma, safety has been um, an unreliable thing in their life. And so we can't expect that just because they're in good hands at camp means they're gonna feel safe. So we're gonna talk about what are those practices to help them be able to not just be safe, but to feel safe. When they feel safe, then we can start to build healthy connections with our campers, which leads us to the second pillar, which is connection. Connection is the heartbeat of all TBRI and really of all trauma-informed care. If we want to help heal trauma, we're gonna do that through connecting. So this is going to be laid out in everything that we discuss and what we want you to really remember as we're going into our camp is how am I connecting with my campers? Because that is going to be the ultimate healing tool uh, for these kids with trauma. The last one is self-regulation. So. We're gonna be focused on how can we help our campers calm and regulate themselves when they experience stress or being overwhelmed, um, frustration, whatever it may be. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about where the history of this is, but many of our kids haven't been provided the tools for how to calm their bodies uh, when they get distressed. So we're going to uh, apply healthy self-regulation tools and begin to teach that. Um, something that we need to be mindful of ourselves is how we can regulate and how we can stay calm in stressful situations so that we can model that and help our kids learn it as well. Um, so those are our three pillars. We're going to do this through connecting, helping empower our kids throughout camp, and through correcting. So we'll talk about the real tangible techniques to be able to help correct and guide our kids when we experience behaviors keeping all of these trauma-informed practices in mind.